I really don't have anything else to talk about. I've said it all. I've decoded it all. Every moment is the now. You're being birthed to your new state. There's nothing new. I mean, I could talk about the news or the stocks or, you know, the drama going on in the news and the Republican, Democrat. The foot, I could pick some kind of sport, football, basketball. I could pick some kind of business and t- talk about their drama and their court cases and their stock evaluation. Or I could talk about you know, the Middle East or Russia, the Gog and the Magog. Russia's always fighting. Everybody's always attacking Israel. It's the same story over and over. You see it in Revelation. Everything that happened in Genesis chapter 3 is happening now. Everything happening, everything that happens in Revelation is happening now. It's just not culminated. The culmination when you read Revelation, the word Revelation is to reveal. So it's, it's slowly being revealed. The AI, I could talk about the AI. It's a waste of time. It's already been, the devil's an AI program. Your flesh mind is an AI program. AI's always been here. You're actually running on an AI program till you get the spirit, of, the spirit of God, Christ mind, the mind of Christ. And in your human body, you're running on an AI because think about it. As you're going down the highway or you're doing your job, as you're walking, you're not thinking about every step you take. You're running on an AI program. And if you take it to the nth degree, the angels are too. They're running on an AI program. They have more awareness in the spirit realm than we do. But if you're in Christ, you know what? You know all things, but just like your your car engine, it has to be tuned to run a certain way, right? And so your body's tuned. You know, if you if you got born born into this place and you were breathing, and your spot body started growing and you made it past 14, 16, 20, it's pretty pretty evident that you're gonna stay around a little while, you know. And uh, just like anything else, it's either it's either static or it's in motion. And if it's in motion, it has to be tuned, tuned to run a certain to a certain program or a certain top dead center. That the the engine, it could be a Stirling engine, it could be a V8 engine, a V6, a V4, it could be electrical motor. It has to be set the, the magnetic field and the, the pistons. They all have to be set up in a certain certain degrees out of sync with each other or in sync with the, uh, each other. My point is, yeah, man can make some motors and, and get us across the across the uh, city or across the country, but can man make a human body that's in sync and running itself? No. The human body runs itself. You can affect the human body with what you put in it, but or not sleeping or whatever. But my point is, in the 3D, there's robotic stuff. Even the trees run on a program. The, the program's in the seed. The watermelons run on a program. The program was in the seed. Computers run on a program. Squirrels, you can look at all the squirrels, they all act the same. The dogs, they act the same. You're running on a program in the natural. Everything in the natural runs on a cycle, a cyclic program. That's why when you talk nice to a woman, she likes that. When a woman wears red, the men notice her, you know. They're certain when a man wears a hat, the women look at him. When the women wear a short dress, all the men look at her, you know. It's a program, it's built in. And so the only way to break the program spiritually is to get saved and get the mind of Christ. Renew your mind in the Word because the devil knows you're running on a program because he's a program. And he's, that's what algebra is. That's what algos, goal, ghoul, ghost, algorithm, 
it's just a program the devil's a program and he's always trying to break you down to get you back to running a program instead of love, walking in love and truth and joy and peace and faith and all that the devil's attacking you to get you to walk and respond in the old programs of the old Adamic nature or the bloodline or the culture and so when you cut their see part of the mu the music's a program the TV the TikTok the Instagram is all programming they're trying to get you to respond in a program and that not only are they trying to get you to respond in a program they're trying to figure out what your program is that's why they send different people into your world to see how you're going to respond to different situations and that's why the narcissist who is a demon the narcissist gets taken over they'll tell you something to see how it affects you or if it upsets you if it stresses you out they want to know what bothers you it's a program people and they want you stressed and they want you upset and they want you in fear and they want you in doubt and worry and, and all that stuff you know So when the angels are dealing with the devil, and the Bible says in the book of Jude that the, the archangel wouldn't even durst uh, railing the accusation against Satan, but said, the Lord rebuke you about the body of Moses, because the devil was debating with him, where's the body of Moses? Where's the body of Moses? You know, trying to deny the truth. And so the angel wouldn't even argue with the devil because he's, a, he's like a... He's a master manipulator. And so what's happening is you see this. A lot of these people, they're master manipulators. They'll talk about the new age and, the, and, the, and God is love and all that, but they'll never mention Jesus and you must be born again. And you're, they won't. They say, well, God is love. We don't need to put you in fear and all that. God is love. God is love. God is love. But they never say that man is a sinner. And man's going to hell in a handbasket without Jesus. They won't mention the name Jesus, but they might mention him as a prophet or something. But they won't say Jesus is God. And they won't, they, they want to draw, they, they're like master deceivers to pull you in, pull people, instead of running to Jesus, they pull people, instead of them saying run to Jesus, they pull people into all this spirituality without Jesus. And that's impossible. It's impossible to be spiritual without Jesus. Yeah, the, the, the fallen angels might give them some stuff, but you can actually calculate it with your own mind. You can deduct it and deduce it and look around you and deduce that this is a hologram and the whole truth is right in front of you. Yeah, you can, you can decode a lot of stuff by just observation and thinking. Like, like when you take your trash out, where they, they, they pick it up in a truck and they take it to the dump and they burn it. Wood, hay, and stubble gets burned up. Your flesh gets burned up. Hell is right in, Hell is being preached every time you take your trash out. Every time you take the trash out, hell is being preached because they burn that uh, trash outside the camp. Heaven is being preached everywhere. Hell is being preached. Sin is being preached. Righteousness is being preached. The whole Bible is being preached every time you drive down the road, every time you get up, every time you walk out the front door. The whole truth is being preached in 3D. And if you have the, the eyes to see it, the knowledge to see it, you can see the whole truth being preached all the time. You go to uh, Chick-fil-A and the sacrifice is being preached because you go and what? You get a chicken. You go to the counter. That's a service, right? You go to the counter, which is a service. How can how can I serve you? And so you say, I want a chicken. I want a chicken sandwich. All right, let's go. All right, we're going to get you a chicken sandwich. We're going to go back in the back. Back in the back and cut the head off the chicken and cut it in pieces. And we're going to cook it. And we're going to bring the chicken back to you. That chicken is going to sacrifice itself so that you can might have life. So the fact that the animal has to die that you might live is a sacrificial type and shadow of what Jesus did on the cross. And so the whole truth is always being preached whether you go to McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Burger King, 
Wendy's, Hardee's, whatever, no matter what restaurant you go to, Jesus being the sacrifice for you is being preached. You look at the trees, tree, true, faithful faith. Jesus is being preached. It's faith alone and Jesus alone. You want to be upright? Walk in faith. You want to be steady as that tree? Walk in faith. You want steady state? Walk by faith. Tree, true, faithful faith. Upright, righteousness. What are the works of God? To believe on His Son whom He sent. What is that? Faith. Belief is faith. Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? Jesus is being preached everywhere, but they got all these agents online preaching lies and say, God is love. Yeah, but God is also righteous and holy and He can't look on sin. Your flesh is sinful. Your sin stinks to thy heaven. You're nothing but a, a blob of sin without the Holy Spirit. You're a robot AI NPC program running on based on the devil's trick that he tricked Eve. Eve dropped us down. Adam went down with the ship, and everybody's running in the old Adam until they get saved. It's really that easy, people. It's not complicated. <laughs> but they want you to be so distracted with the noise of the, the fake agents that you don't see through it. It's really, it's really so simple. A child can hear it, but the pride of man cannot hear it. I had a sister in Christ. She said, I think the worst sin is pride. Yep, it sure is. And she says, I don't think we can get rid of pride. Well, we can't, but Jesus can. And even if when it comes... It's not about getting rid of something. It's about putting on something. We might fall into pride tomorrow or next hour or the next minute or whatever. But Jesus knows you've already been covered by the blood, you know. You know pride is the worst thing. You know all the deadly sins. And you know it's going to reflect back because you reap what you sow. So God has to scourge every son he receives. So if you got pride, he will, he will scourge you. Don't worry. If you're his, he's going to scourge you and break your pride. Break your greed. He will break every demonic stronghold. I took a note today. What was the note? Let me see if I can pull it up on my phone of something that came to my mind. Let's see if I can pull it up real quick while I'm talking. System tries to train you to accept abuse. You've been programmed because you love darkness more than light. New agers getting so close but still deny sin. Let me say it again. These are the three things that hit me like a ton of bricks today. The system tries to train you to accept abuse. Because abuse is the opposite of holiness and being separate and set apart. So your family, your co-workers, your corporation, your church, your, they want you to, the news, the media, they want you to accept your neighbors, people living in your house, they want you to accept abuse because that's the opposite of holiness, set apart, separate. You've been programmed because you love darkness more than light. If you loved, it, if you accepted the, the lies of the abuse, because you wanted the darkness instead of the light. Hello. Who's the famous The reason you accepted the lies, the reason you accepted the abuse, the reason you believe the lies because you you love the darkness more than the light because as soon as you step into light it's all revealed this person's evil this person's abusive this person's bad news bears this person's a jezebel it's delilah it's a legalist they they put me under law guilt shame condemnation it takes a while to break free on some things because you don't have the knowledge but once you get the knowledge you have a choice to walk away or stay in it, you know? The online news and so, I mean, if you just stay in the Word and you meditate on it and cut the noise off, God will reveal it. All you have to do is say, Lord, what am I missing? Just just say, Lord, give me the wisdom, the knowledge, the, the understanding, the know-how, the skill to make it down here. What am I missing? Show me. What am I not seeing, Lord? 
Yeah. I went to the drive through and they, uh, yeah, I won't be back. <laughs> Something's that small for three dollars? I don't think so. I won't be back. See, why would I waste money on something and keep coming back to something that's not even worth it, you know? That's loving the darkness more than the light, so I won't be back. Why would I keep being abused by a business that says, oh, come on, come over here, we're going to give you the food, and then you get us, it's enough, it's a, you could, you could fill up on uh, three eggs and, and get more than what they give you, you know? You ever try to devil... Uh, put three eggs, deviled eggs, and eat them right there on the plate by themselves. That's a lot of food. Take three eggs, cut it into pieces, put a little bit of mayonnaise. I don't suggest mayonnaise, but or whatever. It fills the plate up. It's probably enough protein to do whatever, whatever you need to get it done work-wise, get some energy. But my point is. We only accepted the abuse and the lies and the gaslighting and the love bombing and all that stuff that the narcissistic system gives us, whether it's a person, place, or thing, or corporation, or whatever. We only accept it because we wanted to believe the lie. We loved the darkness more than we loved the light. So when we really love, put Jesus first and love the truth, the Bible, then we start to cut those kind of people off. And there's some people out there that they'll go to church, but they're trying to do neuro-linguistic programming on you. They'll throw words into your mind. There'll be three or four of them working together. The, the demon's trying to provoke you and upset you. Neuro-linguistic neuro programming. And so they can be in church. They can be the preacher trying to get you in fear, doubt, worry, and put you back under law. It's happening. You're in a war, and I'm not joking. You're in a war, and they're trying to steal your your peace and your mind. The battle is in the mind. The battle is in the heart. The battle is in the words. The battle is in the thoughts. Believe it. It's a fact. 